Go in like 10 minutes. 847 in New York City. Emma and I are going to get breakfast at a really, really delicious place. And then, well, we have to find out if it's delicious, but it looks delicious. And then we are going to go shoot some videos. And then we have our event, which you guys know by the title, going to do Gary V's podcast, which I am so, so excited about. It's actually funny. I've been in contact with him and his assistant, not him, Tyler, his assistant, for about eight months. And I didn't tell you guys this story because I was like, I'll tell the story when I actually go. Um, but I went I went to, I actually booked a flight to New York about six months ago, like in October or September or something like that. And Gary had to go do something with his, um, with his business partner and had to cancel. And I like walked into the airport and I got the email and I was like, okay, that's fine. But it actually worked out and it wasn't the right time. Um, and then I, I also had to was going to meet him in LA and he had to hang out at the rock that day instead. So that's fine. It's fine, Gary. It's fine, Gary. Anyway, um, no, it was almost just like I wasn't really ready to come here and do this beforehand. It's funny, like when timing of things happen the way that they do. I think that now I finally feel really confident to like come on and I don't know, own my space and I just feel really good today. So I don't think that those other times were the right time now is the right time so i'm excited but we have some space all morning and afternoon mid-afternoon um i meant to go work out this morning with emma but we both slept it whoops whoops body needed it oh well <laughs> oh well catch you guys there <laughs> so excited <laughs> that just i got um this one without feta so it's just like alfalfa sprouts and the avocado and seeds. Yeah, it's just the basic one, I guess. This is so good, I already had a bite. So good, that's a lot of avocado. <laughs> Freaking delicious. <clears throat> it's called sliced. It's dedicated to toast. Peanut butter toast, avocado toast, um, smoked salmon, eggs and all this stuff but it's delicious little hole in the wall place if i could see through walls i could see you faking you could see my thoughts you would see your faces If I get to be, I need to be with myself or kind of alone, stuff like that. And then I can be like creator, business person. Like I've, I've said quite a bit to a lot of people that I always feel like I'm meditating at all times. Like, yeah, like it's, that's amazing. It feels weird to me, but I'm always balancing out my active, obvious energy. Mm -hmm. Meaning, like when I'm sleeping, or when I'm like, you know, like my most calm, like, or like just sitting on a plane, my brain will go on offense. Mm. But That's when I'm, but when I'm like this with cameras or on stage or like on TV or like running a meeting with 30 people, my brain goes calm. But I find it fascinating that I'm able to physically feel me thinking while I'm talking mm. about stuff. 
Yeah. Like I literally in this meeting have already thought several different things like, I know what my 7 to 7.30 meeting is tonight and it's around this new thing I'm gonna be doing. And like literally in this meeting, even though I'm like unbelievably like deep into like what we're talking about, it's interesting that like thoughts and like, and not just like, oh, I have that meeting. Like I'm almost already talking through that meeting. In, like but I you're be, still present here. Like unbelievably. Yeah. Like that's the part that like has always been fascinating to me. I don't know, that's my answer to your question. Yeah, that's Like really I'm really trying to like fully figure it out, but, but there is some sort of like, balance mechanism that's going on in my head. And it's very obvious to me that it's doing an extreme of the opposite of what I'm up to. Mm. But equally, I was just thinking, but equally, I can fall asleep all the time, always. I never struggle to sleep. Even on planes? Easily on planes. Like, I'm so cozy on planes. Actually, planes <laughs> is where I most fall asleep. I feel like I get into a plane, I feel like it's like, my cozy spot. Uh -huh. It's like it's the part where most where I'm most not bothered. Like I love planes, toilets, and showers because like nobody can bother me. <laughs> Those are the three best places. <laughs> like that's literally like my world. So for fitness coaches on Instagram, what is your advice? I guess to not only become the authority and the person that has a really good message. Like Jordan does a great job of this, obviously, but not the person that's just the typical fitspo. Fitspo is a word in like the little mm -hmm. bubble that we're in. Person that's just posting about their body and their workouts. That you can still succeed in what you're doing. Look, I think some people are actually don't have anything else to say. I think we need to be fair. What would I say? I would say it makes you one dimensional to be a Fitspo, right? Like I think it's one dimensional. I think that that is something nobody, I mean, like, Notice that, like I'm so happy when you're like, no, no I have email. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm always scared for anybody to be one dimensional because it means you're vulnerable. But I also don't think that we should put, I think it's unfair to overly pressure somebody and be like, hey, like you need to get thoughtful or you need to talk about something else. Like mm. some people are singularly passionate about fitness. It's what they know, it's what they love. It's all they want to know, it's all they love. I think it's way more cheesy for somebody to start becoming like motivational or philosophical because they think that that's gonna help them grow their account because they can't just look good and talk about you know macros and like do their thing. Mm -hmm. What would I say to them? I would say like be self-aware. If you're self-aware and you know who you are, you have a much better chance of winning. I, you know how many people hear the evolution of this conversation are actually just fitness spokespeople and are now spending all their time trying to add some other element, yet there is none. I, this is why I'm such a big fan of vloggers. If your life is nine hours in the gym, you should vlog the fuck out of that, here's why. <laughs> As you grow, and you don't, becoming vulnerable means you have something to lose. So when you make that first 50K or 100K, if you reinvest that into an intern or a minimum wage job for somebody who takes your words and transcribes them into LinkedIn or mediums or blog posts or a videographer, right. that's what I want them to do. Right. Like, what would I tell every one of them? You're not gonna be unbelievably attractive and unbelievably in great shape and more importantly, the only one that's saying this forever. Mm. It's supply and demand. So what you can do is evolve into a place where you're producing content in written audio and video form mm. and try to win on all fronts, then you've got something. Right. There's so many people right now that are getting 500,000 likes on Instagram, yet all their upside is in a podcast. Mm. They just don't realize it because their, their vulnerability is their success on Instagram. Yeah. That's, that's a, most people's biggest vulnerability is the current success. Mm. It takes a lot of humility and ambition for somebody to be okay with having half the likes they had a year ago. Mm -hmm. I always yeah. love that shit. Means that you know what you want. The Instagram course that I came out with, someone said in the comment section, well, this has been your slowest month of growth so far. I just checked online on social media or whatever. So that means that you're not up to date. I was like, no, it means that I know what I want. It means that you've thrown some right hooks and mm -hmm. evolving your audience and that you're pandering to the growth of that business which is gonna come right. at the expense of organic growth. Cool. Yeah, that's interesting. Well, we got yeah. to meet. Thank you so much, Carrie. Yeah.
and I just really like them, so I'm wired. But we're getting on a plane and we're going back to LA. So leaving New York, it's been beautiful the last couple of days here and we had such a great time with Gary. We had such a great time filming some videos. We have so much stuff to get out to you guys, some pictures, seeing friends, seeing Noah and Sadie from Influencer Academy, Brandon, uh, met up with Jordan Syatt this morning. Just being able to connect with all of the people that live here. So many more people I want to connect with here but I didn't get to, only a short trip. Only a short trip. But it's been awesome so far, so thank you New York, and thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.